Hello, writer friends. My name is Micah Craddy, and I am here on this very windy but quite beautiful afternoon to show you what's new in Arc Studio. Uh, some things have changed, uh, some things have moved around in the app, and we've added some cool new features. It's all very exciting, so let's jump in, starting at the top and working our way down. If you want to go to your desk, you still have your home icon. Then we have the search, it used to be on the right, it's over on the left. A couple things I want to mention about search. Clicking on this is the same as the keyboard shortcut Command K, and that takes you to this search menu. This lets you search all the commands in the script. So let's say you can't remember a keyboard shortcut or like where exactly you go to do something in, the, in uh, Arc Studio. You can just do Command K and search for it. But of course, most of the time when you're searching, it's gonna be for something in your script or your project that you're looking for. So that's Command F, or you can just click Search right here. And that takes you to this search menu, which is pretty cool and uh, has recently been improved. Not only can you search through your script itself, but you can also search through the stash, your alternates, and the plot board, so the different aspects of your project. So for instance, I'm gonna search for dog. And as you'll see, there's lots of results because this is a very dog heavy uh, project. But what I'm looking for is a beat on the plot board that says dog. So I can click on plot board and this will take me, you know, to all the beats that uh, have dog in them. Also the storylines that have dog, the character named dog. Um, yeah, everything's very easy to find. And of course you have your advanced features, your, you know, find your search and replace it's all uh, right here in that. So again, you can go here through there or just through Command F. Moving on, we have the title information. This has moved, it used to be over here on the left and kind of small, now it's big, it's bold, it's at the top of your script in the middle. But it also has some uh, other information. So what we're looking at right now, this script right here is episode one, The Journey Begins. And it's a script from a season of television, right? So the script right here is episode one, the journey begins, and the season it's from, or the project it's from, is on the left, right? So the project is Please Poop Dog, season one. This is a very real uh, show about one man's harrowing ordeal as he tries to get his dog to poop uh, on a walk. HBO is circling. We're looking at Andy Serkis to play the dog in motion capture. Uh, all should be really cool. But if I wanted to go to the season Bible to see all my episodes, I could just click right here and it would take me there. So it's breadcrumbs because it's like, you know, the big information, it's the whole season, the episode you're at, and then the draft that you're looking at. So right now we're looking at the main draft. You can click on this, you can rename, take snapshot, create alternate draft. But let's say you're looking at an older draft, right? Like you're looking at the pink production draft and you're also looking at like comments. If you wanna cycle through drafts easier, you don't have to go back to drafts and find it. You can just click up here and find the draft. Um, to get back to your main draft, all you have to do is click on main draft and uh, everything's right there. Below the title information, we have the three, the words, or actually it's four words, script, plot board, and outline. And yes, you guessed it. This is how you navigate to your script, your plot board, and your outline. So if we take a quick look at the old version uh, of Arc Studio, this is how you would navigate script, plot board, and treatment. Also should note that the treatment is now called the outline. It was a little harder because the icons weren't labeled and so people would get confused like how to get there. Um, now it's all really simple. You just uh, click on the word and it uh, takes you there. Uh, moving on, we have these avatars here. And these are all the collaborators on the project. So everyone that the script has been shared with will have a little circle here. And if they're currently live, you know, if they're currently looking at the project, they'll have this little like green, green live light right here. And the color of the avatar also has significance. So for instance, we're looking at the changes right now by author. So every author who's changed this document, uh, they're the text that they've changed will be a different color. So I'm this sort of turquoise color, I guess, and I've made these changes because it's turquoise. And I see like, oh, someone's made this sort of plum, I guess, uh, <laughs> colored change. Who is it? And I can look up here and it's S. I'm like, oh, that's the showrunner. I should probably pay attention. Uh, if you click share, it'll also um, show you the colors and you can change it 
um, through here. So now the showrunner uh, is red because I have that power. The changes menu has moved. It used to be in the middle uh, and it was a little opaque. Now it's just much clearer. So one of the things you can do is if you hover your arrow, your cursor over these um, arrows, it'll show you how many changes are currently in the script. So right now there's four and you can um, circle through all of them as you do that, which I mean, this is not a real script, so there's not that many pages, but in a real script, you may have 60 to you know 120 or who knows how many pages. Um, so it can be easy just to cycle through all your changes really quickly. Changes, you know, it's very similar. Similar, You can uh, change how you want to see it, you know, by author, by revision. You can change the snapshot. Um, this toggle is new. So it's very simple. It's a very clear way of seeing whether changes are on or off. So it's on right now. And now, you know, it's off. And I can turn it back on uh, very sim similarly. Sorry. I can turn it back on very simply. Um, export, pretty much the same. One thing to note is if you're exporting your outlines, it used to be that, here if we look real quick, if you had tagged um, a beat with a storyline, it would have this bar and that bar would show up when you exported it. You can now turn that off if you're feeling less colorful. We have our settings. And this has just been unified a little bit. It used to be that display preferences were down here in the left and settings were up here. Uh, now display preferences are right here. So you can do the zoom, you know, switch it to like night mode, everything you want to do all right here. And then if you want to see all your settings, yeah, you just click all settings and everything is right here. So super simple. Um, Next, we're going to talk about the sidebars. And yes, that's plural because you have your left sidebar, but now there is also a right sidebar. So obviously that's good because if you want to do more than one thing at a time, you can have them open. Um, to open and close them, it has to do with these pins up in the, the, the corner here. So it's pinned open right now. If I unpin it, it'll go away and it won't just pop up annoyingly. Um, to make it come back, I hover over this little trigger area and it goes away. And then if I want it to stay open, I pin it. And just as a point of comparison, we can see how you used to navigate between your drafts and the navigation sidebar. Uh, in the old version, it had this, uh, these icons that weren't labeled and this overlay would uh, pop up, which was kind of annoying. And now it's just much cleaner and easier. Uh, everything is labeled all right there. So yeah, you have your drafts. Uh, you have your navigation, which has you know your beats and your scenes, and you have your comments. Quick note about the comments, you can now do rich formatting with them. So uh, for instance, you can see here, you can bold, you can italics, italicize, uh, you can underline things. You can even add links into the comments. So if you wanna reference something in a website, um, you can just uh, put a link in there. And then in the right sidebar, you have the stash, which has a couple of features to highlight. One, if you're in production, let's say, and you're omitting a scene, so you go to omit scene, um, you don't want the you know scene to completely be deleted in case you want to unomit it. It now goes into the stash. Things in the stash can also be edited. So right now, you know, it says finally the sound settles into something familiar. I can change that to uh, the noise and it's edited. Um, and if I want to unomit it, put it back in the script, I just click unomit and now it's back in the script. Also the, uh, your story elements are all in this sidebar as well. So to get to this, you used to have to go to the plot board and click on the globe icon. Now everything's right here. So you have all your storylines, uh, your characters, your locations, uh, all available to you while you're writing your script. So if you wanna see the, the notes you have or anything, it's right here. Okay, so let's say you're writing and there's just like a lot going on. You have your sidebars open, you have this palette bar and you just really wanna focus. Uh, that's when focus mode comes in handy. Just click down here and everything um, goes away and it's just you and your script and you can write to your heart's content.
Uh, a few more things to talk about. We're going to go to plot board. And this is mainly just because we've added this stuff up here. Uh, the, the controls for plot board used to be up here. So they've moved down here into this palette bar. So, you know, you can add an act. Uh, you can open all your beats, close your beats, filter key, you know, highlight all your key beats. You can filter the beats, everything down here. Also look at your story arcs and um, create a beat template if you want to. One more thing to note is the beat inbox. So you used to get to it up here. Now you go through here, the sidebar, navigation, inbox, and you can drag beats uh, into it and you can drag beats out of it. You can create beats just like you used to. It's just now in the navigation sidebar uh, instead of uh, up top. Okay, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the update tour and I hope you enjoy the updates even more. We are constantly improving Arc Studio. We want it to be as good as can be. If you have any feedback, any suggestions, any comments, you can get in touch with us through this cool little question mark uh, in the bottom corner. Just click on it and uh, let us know what you're thinking. Uh, until next time, happy writing.